Welcome to AI Late to Class. Today's video is going to be on Quinn Image Edit Model installed locally using Confi UI. So this is like Flux Context where you can upload an image and make changes to it, like change someone's clothes or change the color of them or add objects in. So I'm just going to be going through some of the things you can do with that, just some of my tests. Um, the reason you'd probably use this other than Flux Context it's a little bit better quality, or that's what the benchmarks have been saying. Um, but the difference, major difference, is probably that you can do not safe for work things, such as get a scene where you've got people being in an accident and they're all sort of injured with blood in that. So I like doing that with making horror movies. Uh, Flux Context doesn't let you do anything like that. Never does any of the major companies in that. So this is probably one of the few models you can do this with. Google's Nano Banana is going to be coming out soon. And that has got some amazing results. Probably a lot better than this Queen model. However, this is still the only uncensored model. So you're going to get a lot of things you can do on this that you can't do on any of the others. So the first thing you'll need to do is update your Confi UI and then go and get all the models. So the workflow I've got going here is come from the confiui.org website over there. It's got some instructions on where the models go if you haven't used Queen or mostly confiui workflows before. Um, it's got some web addresses on where to get them, but I'll have them in the links anyway. I've just made some changes there because I've put in the Queen Realism LoRa. So the workflow I'm using today has come from the confiui.org website. It's quite a simple workflow. There is instructions to the side on where the models are downloaded from and what folders to put them in. I'll have the links in the comments anyway. I've just made some slight changes here because I've got the unit loader loading the GGUF there. Um, that's because I have a low VRAM and I'm just testing this out. I could probably go higher. probably could use the FP8. If you do want to use FP8, I've got that node there so you can just click that up if you want to um, i've also added in the queen realism laura just to try and get the photos more realistic and of course i'm using the eight step laura here i tried the four step laura uh, the quality wasn't so good with that it was a lot faster but the eight step is still working fine there's not too much of a speed difference between the two I've got to say though, yeah, context is definitely a lot faster than this. Um, so this is slower, just like the normal Queen is slower than the normal Flux, but the Queen model is a better quality model overall. Not for everything, but it seems to be pretty good most of the time. And with my experiences today, I've just found way better results than I've been getting with Flux Context. And I've been using Flux Context all the time, so I'll probably now start using this product. On the confui.org website, they've just got one example here, this picture here, and then they've got some text added to it. So this is one thing this model does really well, is text. Um, you can have a look and a read through this here, but um, I'm pretty much going to cover most of that anyway. Going over to the Queen website itself on Hugging Face, um, this is probably your best thing to look at. They've got lots of information here. Scroll down here until you can see these examples, right? So input image, then side view. Those aren't prompts, by the way. That's just explaining what it can do. So don't think to use those for prompts. Um, continuing on. And you can add things like a sign, you can remove objects like that here, there, change letters, uh, change backgrounds, change clothes, and text editing, as I just explained. On Quantstack, you're going to need the VAE, whether you're using FP8 or GGUF. You're also going to need this main text encoder, so if you click on that, you'll see there's two there. Uh, depending on your machine, you can try which one's going to be good for you. Uh, if you're using the GGUF, this is where you're going to get those from. Choose one out of them. The Q8 is close to the FP8, not quite as good. If you've got a NVIDIA graphics card, go for the FP8. I'll have the link in the comments to that. Um, over here, you're going to need a Realism LoRa if you're doing photos. So that's there. 
and then we've got the light X2V. These ones are specific to the Queen image. So this is a four-step model, an eight-step. I've tried the four. I recommend going for the eight if your computer's good enough for that. So on my first go here, I'm just uploading this dog here. And in the text prompt, I've said change the dog spots to red. And over here, I've got the steps at eight because it's the eight-step Laura CFG at one. Uh, the sampler up here is at three. And when I've run it, uh, the image that I came up with was this one. So it's pretty close. The next prompt was to change this part of the collar into a dollar sign. And that's the result I got. So that's pretty good. I then uploaded this lizard creature and changed the background to a desert background. Change frog flag to tiger flag. In this image I wanted to add some flying cups. I sort of imagined a whole lot all over the show, all upside down and all mixed up, but it only put in three like that. There is another thing I'm noticing here, the difference between Flux Context, is it sort of goes more towards AI looking images than the realism on some of these ones. Flux Context would do them more like what I wanted, but the quality was worse. So this is definitely better quality, but may not be close to what I want, although it is following the prompt far more. Had a go at this style, just wanting to change these two dogs to flamingos. And that's what I got. So it's not really the same style. I mean, it keeps the background same, but it just didn't really quite get it. Generated this woman in the normal queen, and then I wanted her to turn sideways. So I did that. It sort of changed the background a bit, but got her sideways, then got her backwards, then wanted to change the dress, wanted to change her arm movements, change her to fold her arms. Then I prompted this with I Heart Dogs on there, and that came out really well. So it's extremely good on these things. From my results, I'm pretty impressed. I'm going to start using this probably in most cases more than I've been using Flux Context, just because the quality's a lot better. Uh, hopefully there's a lot more Lauras that come out on Civit AI. You can go over there. There's already some, not many, but you can have a look what's there. And I'm going to have a go at trying to break this workflow open, see if I can get multi-image input. Anyway, subscribe, like, and watch more of my videos.